Hi, everyone. Thank you for watching my presentation. I'm Hai Bing Wu, the first author. Today, I'm going to talk about my inter-speech paper. This is the title. This work was done by Andy Liu, Professor Hong Li, and me. This is today's outline. Today's presentation is divided into five sections. Motivation, background, proposed method, experiment, and the conclusion. Let's get into the motivation. Anti-spoofing models with high performance are vulnerable to adversarial attacks and the effectiveness of self-supervised learning in defense for adversarial attacks on anti-spoofing models of ASV hasn't been studied yet. So in this work, we explore the robustness of self-supervised learned high-level features by using them in the defense against adversarial attacks. Let's get into the background. The automatic speaker verification systems are subject to spoofing audios these spoofing audios are generated by voice conversion, audio replay, or test to speech. So the anti-spoofing model is proposed as the shield for SV systems. The anti-spoofing model will help detect the spoofing audios, label them spoofing, and throw them away. However, if the input is a piece of user's audio, the anti-spoofing model will label it non-spoofing and let it pass. A lot of anti-spoofing models with high performance are proposed. However, previous work show that anti-spoofing models are subject to adversarial attacks Given a piece of spoofing audio, the anti-spoofing model should label it spoofing and throw it away. However, some attackers can find adversarial noise and generate adversarial audio. The adversarial noise is carefully designed, so from human's perception, the adversarial audio is over 99% similar to the original one. But the prediction of anti-spoofing model will become non-spoofing. In this scenario, the anti-spoofing model becomes transparent and useless. This phenomenon will cause some security problems. So we want to fix it. Then I want to introduce how to generate a adversarial attack. Look at what we have. We have the original audio X and the anti-spoofing model F parameter by theta. We want to find adversarial noise delta to generate adversarial audio X delta in order to make the prediction of Fx delta and Fx as different as possible. Then how can we do it? Just like training a neural network but we optimize the input x rather than the model parameter theta. Specifically, we fix the model parameters and then we use gradient descent to find a suitable delta to fulfill this equation. We want the difference of fx and fx delta to be maximized. Also, we want the L infinity norm of delta to be smaller than a predefined value epsilon. Different certain strategies for delta will result in different attack methods. In this work, we adopted two gradient-based methods, the projected gradient descent method and the fast gradient descent method. The details of the two methods are not our focus, so we just give the reference here. Then I want to talk about what is black box attack. 
here we have two models, the attacking model and the target model. The target model is the model we want to attack. The attacking model is the model we use to generate adversarial examples. In the black box attack scenario, the attackers don't know the internals about the target model. So the attackers will use another attacking model to generate adversarial examples and use these adversarial examples to attack the target model. Now let's get into the proposed defense method. Self-supervised learning is popular nowadays. Label data is hard to acquire while well, unlabeled data is everywhere. Self-supervised learning will allow models to learn knowledge from a large amount of unlabeled data. Longkin J is a self-supervised learning based model. During pre-training, we do masking to the input spectrogram. Then we, we use the Monkin J encoder to extract the monkey J representations. Then we use the prediction head to reconstruct the unmasked spectrograms, the clean spectrograms. Finally, we use the L1 loss to train the entire model. Through pre-training, the monkey J is able to learn knowledge from a large amount of unlabeled speech. After training, it will extract high-level features to improve the performance of downstream tasks. However, the effectiveness of such high-level features against adversarial attacks hasn't been studied yet. So in this work, we did it. Recall the procedure of adversarial attack. The attackers find adversarial noise and generate adversarial examples to deceive the anti-spoofing model. The adversarial noise is also a kind of noise to some extent. So if we can purify them, then we can successfully do the defense. This is the masking procedure of Monkin J. The masking procedure introduces noise to the input spectrograms. The monkey J is trying to learn how to weaken the noise in the inputs and uh, extract pivotal information from the contaminated inputs and use them for reconstruction. So after training, the monkey J has the power to purify the noise in the inputs the adversarial noise is also a kind of noise to some extent. So based on it, we want to use the monkey J to weaken the adversarial noise. To summarize our work in one sentence, we want to use monkey J uh, as a deep filter in front of the anti-spoofing model to purify the contaminated adversarial examples. Specifically, we firstly pre-train the monkey J and fix the parameters of monkey J. Then during the anti-spoofing model training, we extract the high-level features by monkey J and use the high-level features to train the anti-spoofing model. In the black box attack scenario, the attackers are not aware of the existence of Monkey J and treat the entire model as a black box. They only know the input to the black box is spectrogram. So they find the adversarial noise and add it to the spectrograms. However, in the real inference time, before the contaminated adversarial audios uh, throw into the anti-spoofing model, the monkey J will first lay um, weaken the superficial noise, the adversarial noise, 
and then avoid the transferability of adversarial attack. Then let's get into the experiment. For the data set, we use the LA partition of ASV spoof 2019 challenge. The data set contains audios generated by test to speech or voice conversion models. Two different anti spoofing models are adopted SENET and LCNN. We just simply borrowed their model structure. So if you are interested in more details, you can refer to their papers. The attack scenario in this paper is black box attack, where the attackers don't know the internals of the target model. Here are the experiment results. We used two attack methods, PGD and FGSM, to attack two anti-spoofing models, LCN and ICNet. So here we have four scenarios. Let's look at the result of attacking LCN with PGD. The x-axis is epsilon, the intensity of attack signal. The y-axis is the testing accuracy of anti-spoofing model. The more higher the accuracy is, the more effective the defense method is. We use monk to denote the proposed monkey J based defender. We use male to denote the anti spoofing model trained by male spectrograms. We use median, mean, Gaussian to denote the anti spoofing models equipped with median filter, mean filter or Gaussian filter in front of them. As we can see, the basic male model are subject to adversarial attacks. And uh, the median mean and the Gaussian filter can counter the adversarial example to some extent. However, as we can see, the monkey J based defender outperforms all the filters. Also, we show the defense results of a random parameterized monkey J denoted as rand. The difference between monk and rand is that the monkey J model for rand is random parameterized rather than pre-trained. As we can see, the random parameterized monkey J fails to counter the adversarial attacks as epsilon increases. We can see the random parameterized monkey J is not only worse than the monk method, but also worse than some handcrafted filters such as mean filter and the Gaussian filter. So we can simply draw the conclusion that our success in the right curve is not simply from the mismatch of model structures between the target model and the attacking model. To further show the importance of pre-training, we trained the entire model, the anti-spoofing model with the monkey J from scratch. The result is denoted as scratch, the, the black dot one we can see training the entire model from scratch results in very low accuracy, which is barely better than 50%, you know, random guess. The result further shows the importance of pre-training. In all four scenarios, we can see the monkey J based defender, the right curve always attain high accuracy and other approaches. Here are the conclusions. In this work, we propose to use self-supervised learning for the virtual defense on anti-spoofing models of ASV and the experiment results illustrate the representations extracted by self-supervised learning model prevents the transferability of the virtual examples. That's all I have today. Thanks for your time.